Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about angular acceleration. In our previous videos, uh, we have discussed about the angular displacement and angular velocity in rotational motion in analogous to the linear displacement and linear velocity in translational motion. That is angular displacement is actually the rotational analog of linear displacement. Angular velocity is the rotational analog of linear velocity in translational motion. Similarly, we can define the concept of angular acceleration in rotational motion in analogous to the linear acceleration or simply acceleration in translational motion. Linear acceleration is actually the time rate of change of linear velocity. That is linear acceleration is represented by vector A. It is actually the time rate of change of linear velocity. Linear velocity means velocity in translational motion. So, vector A is equal to d vector v divided by dt or d by dt of vector v. Okay, this actually we have discussed in our previous videos. This is the linear acceleration. It is a time rate of change of linear velocity or the velocity in translational motion that is actually called as linear velocity vector v. Okay, similarly we can define the angular acceleration. It is represented by alpha Okay, its magnitude is represented by alpha. So, in the same way, we can define the angular acceleration, which is represented, represented by vector alpha, because angular acceleration is also a vector quantity. That is why we are putting a vector sign over this alpha. So, vector alpha is actually the time rate of change of angular velocity. Linear acceleration is the time rate of change of linear velocity. So, angular acceleration is defined as the time rate of change of angular velocity. Angular velocity is represented by vector omega. I am taking this as equation number 1. Angular acceleration is actually the rotational analog of linear acceleration. Linear acceleration is in actually in the case of translational motion. Angular acceleration that comes when the when the body is having a rotational motion. So, angular acceleration is actually the rotational analog of linear acceleration and it is defined as the time rate of change of angular velocity. Okay, now if the axis of rotation of the body is fixed as we seen in our previous video, then the direction of, okay, if uh, the axis of rotation of the body is fixed, okay, you just imagine it's just the z axis, and it is moving along in the anti-clockwise direction. There is a rigid body. It is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. So, if the axis of rotation is fixed, then the angular velocity vector omega, that also the direction of angular velocity uh, vector omega, that also would be fixed. Okay, we have, uh, we can determine the direction of angular velocity by using right hand screw rule, right hand rule, which we have discussed in our previous video. I will provide the link for, the, uh, for that in the description box. If you want, you can watch that. Okay, so... If the axis of rotation is fixed, then uh, the direction of uh, vector omega that is also fixed and hence angular acceleration. If vector omega is fixed, its direction is fixed and uh, magnitude is fixed, then alpha also that becomes, uh, I mean, I mean vector omega is fixed, then uh, that means uh, angular acceleration alpha, vector alpha is also fixed. Vector alpha is fixed means this, this is actually a vector equation. No? If vector alpha is fixed, then this equation reduces to the scalar form alpha is equal to d by dt of omega. Okay, I am taking this as equation number 2. So, in this video, we have just discussed about a very simple topic, angular acceleration. It is represented by alpha. Angular acceleration is actually the rotational analog of linear acceleration. And it is defined as vector alpha is equal to d by dt of vector omega or in a scalar form or its magnitude alpha is equal to d omega by dt.